Hey everybody, Martin here, your favorite Ujana Realtor, and I'm here with my 2021 summary for Ujana Real Estate, along with my 2022 prediction. I hope you find it interesting. All right, so as you may already know, 2021 was a record breaker in every way, right? Every month was a record month. Um, I'm sure I've mentioned this before and you've watched some of my videos, so you're aware, but it was a crazy year. At one point in time, sales were up 55%. Um, year to date. Now, of course, that's kind of slowed down a little bit. Um, we are, uh, we actually average out about 22% overall increase in sales, uh, over 2020 and 2020 was a great year. So, you know, uh, kudos to 21. It was, uh, it was awesome. Uh, however, th that does come with a caveat because prices haven't kept up. Like if you look at average price in, uh, 2021, uh, versus 2020, there was only a minor change of about two thousand dollars, <laughs> so really, really hasn't changed that much. Um, and like I said before in my videos, that's largely due to uh, what I've referred to as phantom inventory, um, inventory that just failed to sell year over year over year uh, since we peaked last time, which was around about 2011, 2012. So. Um, when you look at that, there was a lot of listings that expired that um, a lot of us realtors were phoning clients and saying, hey, um, get your house on the market because the market's really, really good. And that's where this phantom inventory came from. And that's basically what kept the prices from skyrocketing, like in, like in places like Toronto or Vancouver or even Calgary. Um, so, yeah, about a two thousand dollar change. Um, and that's uh, if you want to look at the number of listings, uh, for instance, um, the number of listings, new listings in the year uh, rose f to about 6,100 versus about 5,300 in 2021. So that's like a 15% uh, increase in listings. So that's, you know, that's a major, that has a major impact on the market when it comes to inventory, right? So that's why, uh, that's why even though 21 was a crazy good year for sales, it wasn't that good of a year in terms of price increase. So, um, I mean, I've got... Uh, friends from uh, BC and Toronto sell real estate and they're like, whoa, you know, we sell like a million point two <laughs> or three million dollar price increase and whatever. And I'm just like, uh, two grand. <laughs> Welcome to Regina, my friends. And it's like minus 34 right now. So on top of all that. But anyway, not here to talk about the weather. Um, I want to jump into my 2022 prediction. So there's a couple of things. Uh, there's stuff on the internet you can find. I'm actually going to include uh, a link to a PDF in this video uh, of the Remax uh, 2022 outlook. Uh, Regina is in there. You can take a look and you can actually see all the other markets as well. Um, but anyway, my prediction. So um, I don't see much of a change. I, I know I always say this and I'm always wrong, but really like the increase in inventory was going to keep going, keep us uh, kind of level. It's going, it's creating a, a ceiling of how high the prices can go. Sales could still be high. There's been a lot of um, young families moving to Regina um, because the trend is affordability. Due to affordability, Regina is is becoming more and more um, desirable for these young families because they can't go to Vancouver, they can't go to Victoria, Toronto, um, even Edmonton and Calgary. Uh, they can't buy what they can buy here for, you know, I've got I've got clients that are coming here that are pre-approved for half a million dollars and they can't believe what they can buy compared to, uh, you know, the cardboard box that they can buy in downtown Vancouver, right? <laughs> so it's a big, big um, po uh, draw for these for these young people. So I, I, I feel that sales will still be pretty decent. But again, the amount of inventory that's still hanging around, I mean, there was over a thousand expired listings that'll probably come back. Uh, in the spring here in Regina. So uh, I think that kind of stuff is going to keep our prices from increasing. You know, we might see a moderate uh, 1% to 2%, but I don't really foresee much in terms of uh, price increase. Remax thinks uh, it's going to be 3.5%. Um, uh, Royal LePage thinks it's going to be over 6 uh, I I think that's very ambitious. I just don't see that happening. Um, we might see uh, big, better numbers um, in the single family market, but our condo market is going to uh, hold us down. And that actually is a whole nother thing, um, something I call a price gap, uh, where, you know, condos have uh, kind of held us down. We're even housing, We could actually take off, but because of uh, the demand for single family homes, but um, the over inventory in condominiums and townhomes has kind of kept us grounded. Uh, I'm going to do a video on the price gap as well, but uh, for now, 
uh, this is uh, this is basically just kind of my point. So um, anyway, my prediction for 2022 to sum it up is more inventory, more sales, but prices will be stable. I don't I don't see the three and a half to six percent increase. I really don't see it. I hope I'm wrong. I would love to do that because it'd be really good for me because, uh, yeah, I got a few houses around. So <laughs> it'd be really nice. But I um, I just I, I'm up. I'm I'm optimistic, but I am um, I am realistic. So anyway, um, uh, I hope you uh, found this useful um, and uh, all my information is below. You can contact me if you have any questions, martin at regionaexperts.ca or 306-527-0500. Just uh, shoot me a text if you have any questions or you can uh, click below and you can um, book an appointment with me if you have any questions. We can discuss buying, selling, real estate or the weather. Okay, anyway, I hope you have a great day and um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care and stay warm. Cheers.